I got early access sent to me for free by the developers for review. I was not paid, and my opinions are my own. What's this game all about? I, I think it's we're making robots to do things. It's like kind of like a sandboxy, chill robot making thing. I have access to a few different opt-in branches, and this one was like a coffee shop type thing. There was also a... What were the other ones? Robo Coffee is what I'm on. There's also Sandwich Server and Wooden Chips. Like... Like fish and chips, but... Wood. In, instead of fish. I, I don't... Maybe it means something in this universe. <laughs> just... <laughs> Just seems that's just what it's called. I don't know. That guy in the back, okay. Well, which one? Ah, he's fine, probably over there. He's alright. He's got a little bit of a stiff hip. You know, you've you've had days like that, I'm sure. You wake up, you slept on your hip a bit wrong, and it's just that's yeah, stiff as hell. You gotta work it out. It's okay, we're we're probably not open. I'm not I'm not really sure. Gear and hello, welcome. Uh, shorter stream today. Probably just like an hour or two. Like really short. So I figured doing a quick look would be an all right bet. So here we are. With Robo Coffee. I don't have any of the secrets. Nor do I have a best score. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. I hope this is a tutorial. No coffee breaks for weary robots. Keep humans perky with the finest Robo Coffee. Get a coffee to the construction worker upstairs is the main objective. Okay. <laughs> Alternatively, deliver a full cup of coffee with cream and don't break the construction tape. Right. Okay. Deliver coffee upstairs. Uh, just have it a chat. Okay. Well, it's simple enough. It's got a ramp. It's not like it's actually steps, right? Okay, so there's like kind of a tutorial, but like I think it might be... I think it might be straightforward enough. So, the basics. Um, very heavy cube for weight distribution. With a three axis resize. Attach rods to motors to spin them. I'm assuming it's not a structural component then. We got some pistons. Right, so light block, medium block, heavy block. Well let's get a heavy block in there. Center of mass. It's a bit of a bit of a small guy thus far. Um we'll need servo motor? Can adjust the angle limits inside the motor's properties. Mm. Well, let's just get like a DC motor up in there. That'll turn... the wrong... rolling... Uh, this, this is... this is the wrong... wrong direction. Maybe... It, Maybe it doesn't matter too much. This is, this is like, if I'm attaching this to, this is backwards, I think. I think. Um, a, cu a couple motors, and then we get some rods up in there. And this I can just like put the rod through ruin entirely. I don't think so though. No, I don't think so. Okay, well let's just get some wheels up on there. Maybe I can set it to negative RPM or something. Um mm. We should probably get Should probably get at least a third wheel. So a couple a couple blocks. And then uh Okay. 
Can I get just one wheel? I mean, this works really well for like a, a turning wheel, I suppose. What's this five button all about? Oh God, joints, joint types. Oh Jesus. Oh God, resize tool. Blocks and rods only though. Oh God, okay. Um. Right. Can I not have a one of like on the on the on the side? Is what I'd like. Can we just like? Oh God, this that button needs to not be on. Um. Well, that that's that's reversed. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. We'll, uh... A little more space. Angle limits inside the motor's properties. So, like... Edit properties? Okay, well, there's that at least. So now those are, now those are like, go. We got that. All right. And this guy, I guess is like kind of for turning or something. Um, yeah, and the, there's, there's the fancy things. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that, I guess. I was going to go for a third wheel, but I don't think we have a motor that goes in that direction, so. Oh my god, heads and stuff. Um, well, let's... I guess it'll just be like a little rover thing, then. I, I, I guess that's fine. Right? I think that's right. Oops. Yeah. And then I was able to like change the size of these. Another month, another Krugy also what is this game? Building small robots. Brian, calm down. <laughs> Freaking moron! Thank you very much. Tier one, twenty-one months. Yeah, we're making a we're making a robot to deliver a coffee to the dude upstairs. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. What else did we have? Structural joints, mechanical powered. Oh, uh, oh, look! There's other motors and stuff here. Maybe we've got one that's already got a joint just in the side. And there's also a vacuum for sucking. A laser pointer to help with aiming. A big, a big fuck off piston in case we get stuck. Oh, that's very big. That's a very large piston. I was more thinking like something on the bottom side somewhere in case we get stuck, we could just like you know, extend the arm our way up. Speaking of extend the arms. We could have a little claw. To like get the coffee up to the guy. Uh, these are all like kind of not what I want, though. They're just different shapes and variations of the same-ish concept. Yeah, no, I'd want one where I could have the rod on the side of the block. It looks like that's not really an option. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. Mm. A little hat? Cat ears? 
These are massive cat ears. Do they have to be so big? Okay. I'd like to go for the cat ears. Some handlebars. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, basics. Some light cubes. A couple of them. And then a little pincer claw thing. To... To have the coffee. And, uh... Don't think I need any of that stuff. Do I need a, a little light? So you know that it's there. And, and it flashes red if uh, if you're too slow with it. Pulse. A very slow pulse. Can I change the color of it? No. Okay. Empowered pincer. Max force. All of the force. What is this? Newtons? 1500 Newtons? Is that enough to hold a cup? I hope so. Um, how can I actually grab the cup? I wonder. You know, I might want... Uh... Can I just... Copy those, delete those, delete that. We're gonna get an extendo bit here. A saw? A blade? Whoa, we're making battle bots? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, basics. Piston. Small piston. Limited resize. Controllable. Yeah, that's... That's about what I'm after. And then, uh... Yeah, paste down to there. There we go. So now I can, like, up and down it a little, you know? I don't know if it'll go backwards. I, I haven't really thought that far ahead. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, not, not that button then. Okay, so in theory we can, like, reach up high. And, and stuff, and we can drive around. Visualize forward direction while moving the robot. Give him a little screen face. That's nice. Can steer with collisions, just find a proper wall. There you go. Bases, powered joints. Oh. Oh, geez. Hinges and stuff. Mm. Right. Things like this would probably help for steering, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, can we, like, test drive this? Because I think we're ready for it. Purple transmitter, left hand controls, right hand controls. Oh. I, J, K, L, U, and O. Yeah, no, it's, that works, I guess. Um. Okay, yeah, spin forward, spin reverse, toggle forward. Okay, yeah, that's... That's all fine. So W's gonna be just all of that. But when I say reverse, then you reverse. And for A, for turning to the, to the left. <laughs> right? I think. And then, like that? It's gonna, it's gonna turn real good. And then E can be... The pincer? 
Toggle? Hold. Let's try Toggle. And Q can be... Q can be maybe the light? <laughs> Q could, should be the uh, the piston. We'll say... Well, no, because yeah, I gotta have an up and a down, so that ought to be a right-hand control. So, uh, like I and K, I guess. Move it out. Move it in. That's toggle out. Move out, not toggle out. Yeah. All right. We can also add custom keyboard controls. <gasps> Perfect. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having that. So these can go fuck themselves. I don't need those. So we got R and F for the piston. We got E for the claw. And then the BOSA and the auto work. E. Primary color. We don't have like the super custom selector here. So my vibrant colors are just gone. But I guess we can. It's a nice blue. Besieged with less murder. Did I ever play that? Besieged? No. No, I did not, actually. I might have that, though. Besieged? No. No. I don't really have that many games that start with B, it turns out. Huh. Interesting. Is that a similar deal to this? You're just making weapons of war, though. I could be eight. Uh, okay, yeah, let's let's go for this. I I think, right? Can we do like a activate robot? No. Oh. Well. In time, we'll get there. Ooh, that that turns so good. We're we're on we're on our way. Look out, everybody! Oh, that doesn't go up very high at all. Okay, I don't think we need to turn this well. <laughs> we're unflippable, though. That's good. Okay, we're not entirely unflippable. Well, no, we're a little bit unflippable. I like this. Okay, back to edit. So why have you come off? And also, this needs to be bigger. We need some tape, I think, is, is the trick. Let's copy and delete that. Uh... Structural uh, wedge blocks and stuff. Joints. Putting a rod through the hinge, the section of the hinge will attach to the rod. Right. Rotate connected parts. Ball and socket, a bobble joint? A spring joint that bobbles? Yo, you could be a bobblehead. Get rid of this. <gasps> what if I put a bobble on a bobble? Oh my god, it's a wacky waving inflatable arm filling to a band robot. Where the head's at? Yes. Oh, you think the copy just, like, didn't actually attach it proper? It was just, like, floating above? Could be. Don't be scared. This is fine. Piston. Um... So what we want, then, are... If one piston doesn't do it, then you want multiple pistons. Um, the problem is, the more pistons I add, though... That's reducing our maximum height. 
Where where is this this prestigious coffee? That's just that's just there. We gotta grab Oh god, this is a trick. We gotta grab a cup there that's teetering on the edge and fill it and uh, potentially also cream it. I don't know where the cream is though. Oh, that might be it up there. Clean up the coffee spills? No. Well, you want me to vacuum that? Okay, so we gotta go quite high, it turns out. Mm, can I resize pistons? Uh, blocks and rods only, but... Yeah, no, that, that seems to... That's That seems to work. Um... Extends farther than its length. The tele I, I definitely want the telescopic one. Because we got to get the most bang for our buck here. That's just a question of how telescopic is it. And then... Uh, a, a nice light block? I'm going to put another heavy block in here just to just to make sure we're heavy enough. I need that claw. Powered claw. What's so powered about you? I mean, you are very impressive looking, but like I think that might be too much of a cloth for the coffee, though. A jump piston. Now, oh, what's a jump piston? When you say jump piston, I imagine like a bouncing Betty. I don't want to spook anybody here. I don't want them thinking of flashbangs going off. There's no breach and clear happening. Kinda? We our our claw is like just just beneath the, the laser here. Start on. Yeah. Bouncing Betty Coffee would be dangerous. It sounds like a nice name for for a coffee place. The tradition must continue. Thank you, Erolfson. <laughs> Tier 2. 27 months. Thank you, Mutt. Look, this one's got a light on it already. Wait, and a spring? Yo, this thing is fun. What? Amazing. Thank you, Air Olsen. Welcome. How are you doing today? Okay, some of these are like just preset things. Okay, let's uh let's try this then. Controls. Main action is the pincer to toggle. Laser pointer is just always on. And then custom controls R and F. Move out. Move in. <laughs> Pretend we have coffee on this. You know. It might actually work. I oh got I feel a sneeze coming on, but it like won't actually. Spring. 
<laughs> just all the time. <laughs> I gotta get a, a little bit of a slower acceleration, I think. Oh, right, yeah, I don't have the head telescopic as well. That's possibly okay. Just inch. We have it. I, I have it's a little bit wobbly. Ah, a little bit wobbly. It's fine. There's no coffee in it. We'll just. Oh. How is how is a cup so goddamn heavy? Ah. Okay. Back to editing. Cups too heavy, and the head the the laser is. Damn near worthless. I'm getting rid of the laser. This goes up high enough, though. This is good. Let's... move this. To, uh... back here. Yeah? Forklift mechanics. And then... The, the the wheels here are maybe a little a little too much properties max rpm let's just say let's say let's say 92 for the back ones the forward ones can still be 125 maybe The four seemed fine. The, the spring is just entirely unnecessary now at this point, sadly. So, uh... Yeah, that, that was the problem before. Was they're not, like, actually attached to one another? Okay, that's that's on. Okay. How much you want to bet he swings his face and headbutts the coffee cup and destroys it? I'd almost put money on that. We're gonna we're gonna end thicken this a little bit. This is gonna be a, a chonky weight back here. Hopefully it's not clipping with the wheels. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's fine. A little too much weight. Understandable. It's a good amount of weight. Floor it! <laughs> this is this is great. It's got little googly eyes too. <laughs> this is this is this is all right. Just please don't don't headbutt the coffee though. All right, we're going up. That's not up. Yeah. <sighs> Had. Am I am I cleaning the floor? All right. So we need we need side pistons. We need side pistons in case we fall over. Um. Nothing much, just just little ones. Should they be telescopic? They might have to be telescopic.
Kai. Uh, what keys do we do for this? I guess, like, we could go with Y and C. Move out. And these two move in. And then, uh... C. Those are move out now. And that's move in. And then we'll go for X, where it's just all of these move in. Uh, a reset to neutral. Yeah. We got arms now. Ah, uh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. A little heavy headbang for me, would you? A little, a little more. All right. Okay. Fine. Look. A little more weight then. Understand. No, a little less weight. Actually, is what I want. There we are. Just the way you write programs. Well, pretty much. I mean. It's stupid to think that the the very foundation is the problem. So you just improve what's not working until eventually, <laughs> until eventually it's fine, and then it gets gunked up in the whatever. I don't I don't have a piston in the back. Okay. We just need a piston on the head just to put it upright again. Um, is there like a, like a thing that I can push a button and it just... And it just stiffens? Like... Bristol Duster. Crown Gear. Okay, how about this? I have an idea. We're gonna delete these, right? And, uh... We're gonna delete the head, too. We're gonna make a new bobble joint, but we're gonna... Ah, oh, it can't be resized. Okay. Well. Okay. I want to make a little platform for this because I want this to still be like kind of in the center. Okay, there. Now I won't be able to cascade onto the ground, right? Which is the main problem that we had was it would just drag itself along the ground and that's no good. I want that head. I don't like it as much. I like this one. This one is fine. This one is good. Now the worst set would... Right. I forgot. In the back we got that little problem, don't we? Forgot about that. I still need this back piston. Well... 
Yeah, telescopic. Always telescopic. Like, why would I not use a telescopic piston? What button do I put on this, though? Max velocity? We could make a robot that jumps. Curious how this works. Controls for piston six. Um, we'll go with G for Grenude because basically, basically that's what's happening. And then Uh, H? <laughs> Move it back in? Oh, God. <laughs> it's a weapon. All right, let's get a good boost. Nope. Uh, see? Okay, that works. That works. I would really like to see... Excuse me, pardon me. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> ah, I broke the tape. Uh... Ma'am, look out! Or, sir, whoever. I don't fucking know. Upright? You know, why don't we just keep these extended, actually? Really? That way we can't really fall over, right? Well, I guess we could teeter off to the side. At least the head's not breaking anymore. Please, please don't headbutt the glass. <laughs> okay, we're going up. Ugh, I uppercut myself a little bit. <laughs> that gives me ideas, actually. We could just, we could just slap. Oh my god, okay. We put pistons, hold on, we're going back to editing, I don't care. We put pistons in a ring around the head, right? And if it ever acts up, we thrust the pinions upward to, to stiffen up the neck. We just, we uppercut it from all sides. I need to change the head though. That head will not work for this because it's got, it's got too many bits and bobs out there. But, uh... I just, I need, like, a, a platform. And then we just gotta find a head that fits. If any heads do fit. A block head. Blackhead would be okay. Butler would be... Sort of okay. Could also just make a... Could make a custom head. Hmm. Kinda? Laser head is, is kind of what I'm making, actually. So fine. Laser head, you win. We're going with laser head. And then I need those telescopic pistons again. Right? And, uh...
remove that. A little more weight in the back? Or no, we had too much weight, didn't we? That was the problem. Not really sure what to do with that unless we just move the entire head structure up a bit. Which... Doesn't really work unless we feel like snapping his neck. I'll just have to see how this goes. Um... Uh, our standard pistons again. Dang it. Telescopic pistons. An ambition to steal the little boy's glasses? No, no, no. Not yet. Maybe. Um, controls. For G is all of these. Toggle out, just out, right? And then H, toggle in. You might think, why don't we just not have a springy head? And I don't have a good answer for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep, balls. Okay, back to edit. Why are you out by default? Can you not? Start off. Acceleration time, like instant. Oscillate, return to origin. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted. Yes. I love that I can have them oscillate. That's cool. Can I have these oscillate? That sounds great. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. Maybe a maybe a, t a touch of acceleration time. <laughs> All right. No, no, that that's not much better. Um, why is it doing that now? Let's just say a full two. Ah. Yeah. Oops. Oh. He powers the laser as well. When the laser's on, the coffee is grabbed. Uh, C. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the oscillating's not... <laughs> what am I doing? Um... <laughs> I love just this, this pumping motion that it does, though. This is great. Hey, you did it! Ah, eh, balls. Hey, hey. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yes, almost. Okay, all right. Okay. So this works pretty well, actually. The max force we're gonna bring down to a more reasonable level. Velocity, though? Um... Yeah, 100, I guess, is fine. An acceleration time of 2 seems to not break everything, so that's cool. These guys... We cannot oscillate, in fact. Um... And... They may have to be even larger. Okay. Because I don't know what this head is made of, but it's pretty heavy, so... Yeah... Okay, we're very- we're very tall, I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. 
The head seems to be decent now. Why would you do that? Why the f did you break your cup? Oh god. Don't make me clean that. I think I think it's locked to uh I think it might have locked itself to this. So we just don't have that that one then that's fine. Don't drop that cup over there. Stand back. Give me the, give me the cup. Bring it back down. Ah! Oh, right, I don't have the I don't have the back one anymore. Ah, uh, so close. Okay. How about You know what we could do? We could be really fancy and have a, a second telescopic on the back with a with a heavy weight, and it's bound to the same button as this one. It just goes at a slower rate. So like as we raise this up, the weight goes out. Am I fancy enough for that? I highly doubt it. But we could we could try it. Heavy blocks in the lower middle? What, like a center of mass? You're trying too hard. Man, look at you. Um. Yeah, just like attached to the attached to the side of one of these. I think. And then and then a heavy block at the end. And this is our counterweight that extends out. And uh, it's it's a counterweight to the cup, or really the counterweight to the telescopic nature of this thing, right? Make it wide. Oh, it's it's pretty wide when the arms are out, I think. So we got R and F. Yeah, R is also going to move that out. And F is going to move that in as well. And then the settings for this. Acceleration time. Maybe like 0.15. Max velocity, I guess, I guess one, like I need it to be a, a little just slower. Yeah, like that's 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 too quick. I think I want this number to be higher. I mean, you know, kind of like in principle. That might sort of work. We're a little bit just back heavy though because of this thing all the time. I do a little bit wish Uh, 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 balls. 
<laughs> and then reverse, and then, okay. Wait, 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 we had it. I need to extend and reverse at the same time. And then continue reversing. <sighs> okay. Um, not quite. Sort of. I need this to be... Not here, though. I need this to be, like, more toward the back. And can I customize your weight? Is that a possibility? I don't think so. Take a second coffee on the other side? Now that's an idea. I just gotta shift the weight in a little bit though, so it's at a more reasonable spot, I think. And uh... Maybe it doesn't also have to be a heavy weight. Maybe we can go with just a basic block, right? Okay, well that... that's not actually connected. Oh, god. Undo. That is... that is connected. This whole upper structure is no longer connected, though. Oh, yeah, no, I guess it's not, huh? Yeah. Um... There we go. Now, the downside is this, this arm does go much further than this guy, but I'm going to say that's okay. You know, I'm also not at all regretting our wheels working together in unison to help us turn. That turned out to be a really good decision. That little bit of weight to help us help us out. Oh, oh no, oh no! Wait, ah, ah, ah. Oh no, the front bumper. We're so close. No! I need a second to extend the worm. That's a bit large. That's... no, that's not what I want. Uh... Yeah? This needs to be... A touch taller. Scoot those up. This arm goes on. To a block. Need a I need a block there. Oh no, I already- I already have a block there. Yeah, there we go. Bye. Okay. There we go. So that rises... Yeah, no, that's not connected at all. There we go. Okay. 
I like the effort. Um, but nothing's actually connected to that now. Okay. Gotcha. I know where we are now. So I, I do need a block here. Wait, what the? Okay, delete, delete that. Delete that. Get these out of here. Aha, there is the problem. I put a block like inside that somehow. There we go. Okay. And then this is going to be... Uh... What do I bind this onto? <laughs> Don't start on. This can be... I guess... I guess T? And... G's already used, so, so Z then. Or move in. That... Kinda works. Oops. Or a G and H as if the head wonks out. Uh, right. Let's try it. Uh, you. No, I've got a little too much weight in the back. There. Maybe. Is that, is that nice? Do we like that? That's nice. It loves that. And telescopic wheels will be, uh, oof. We just like, we have a button pressed to rise us up and then the wheels kick out. Because we've got additional mass now, so we have to like stabilize. Um, yep. See, it's multi-purpose, that. It's a counterweight, but also our push. I don't think this is gonna work out when we get the coffee, though. Ah. Man, it is rough trying to remember what button is what here. Guys, we're gonna fill the coffee. We've never made it this far before. Hello, Atsan. Why the wobbly head looks like that's what's making it so unstable? You trying too hard? Come on. Wobbly head. It's a fun robot. It brings joy to the customers. They love it. Okay. Okay. The coffee is hot. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Uh. EGF! EGF! Ah. Uh. Portion coffee and mug is hot. Thank you, Gambit. Tier one, 37 months on a 37 month streak. Man, thank you very much. Yeah, hopefully I don't gotta get it to the guy like while the coffee is still hot. But hey, new record. So what went wrong? The cup is just the cup's just heavy. It's a heavy cup. So we just we need more general mass. I I think we might have to fill in our core here. I don't think there's much getting around that. We just we need to bulk up a bit. Ah, uh, and you being You being you, how about we actually just extend you out a touch? I like these drag controls. This is like really nice for, um, what? Like just knowing like, oh, it's going to connect if I drag it out and all that. It's really convenient. It's quite well done thus far. Maybe, maybe that's enough. I don't know. How solid of a core do we need? <laughs> this secret lab, or sorry, a research lab building robot platforms for XCOM. Yeah, this is this is the start of it. All right, we um, we're very we're very tall. We are really very tall. So. That's a thing in it, right? Like, uh, like racing cars and stuff. Like, don't, don't they have the wheels like a little bit offset? Like that? This thing's built for speed after all. Is that, is that even? No. And then this is four. We might have to, we might have to move. Wait, 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 wait. What about another set of wheels? Because look, we haven't even gotten to the ramp yet. Like, we still got to deal with this thing, shifting our center of mass. I think I might need a second set of wheels back here. A wobbly joint? Just like a really wobbly tire? <laughs> I don't know, because the rod's got to connect to it. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'd have to have, like... I'd have to have the wobbly bits connected here. What was that called? Is that structural? No. No, it is not. Mechanical? No. We could just have a really big wheel back here, though. I just wish I could have wheels just, like, tonk. They gotta have the... the rod go the one way. Wait, what's this? Elevator? Climbs an attached rod with connected motor? Sounds like wizardry. A differential gear. Oh, look at that. That that make that makes some things easier. Ah oh, well. Um. Basic mechanical. It's not a mechanical powered. It's not a powered thing. Joint. Ah, joint. Bobble joint.
It's like suspension for rougher terrain. Okay. Uh, and then some wheels. But whatever these are. Because <laughs> whatever these are seems to... Oh yeah, I need the rods. doesn't search everything for that. Rod. This boy is wide. Ow, wide, wide thing, this. And then mechanical. Oh, come on, go ahead, why not? Straight through. And I could even have the rod continue through and get, like, extra, extra... This is for, for heavy loads. Why don't they do this in real life? Why don't they do this in real life? Look how easily we can pivot and turn now. And we're, we're way too wide to tip over. I don't think we need these pistons anymore if we, if we tip. That's how confident I am in this. And then... This does need to be connected there. Because we're at like a little more of a nice center point. I, I guess like that is fine. Yeah. And, uh... Then we just have to make sure we're turning the right way, and that the controls work correctly. So forward will also drive. That. Right? And that goes reverse. For reverse, you go forward, you go reverse. For left and right, um... Uh, do I want these to do much for left and right? I feel like they just automatically will. I feel like I don't need to. Why has that happened? Hold on. Who's not, who's not connected here? Oh, I see. I can't have these just go straight through. All right, I'd have to have another rod attached. No, that, that wasn't the problem. Um... That's on. That's on. That's on the rod. It's just really unhappy with this rod. Like, if it, it hates these rods. And you know what? I hate the rods too. Get them out of there. We'll put in new rods. Attach the rod to the tires, and then the tires? Oh, wait a minute. How the heck? So 
so you totally can have these just like jet straight through then if you want i just i somehow had the motors on backwards <laughs> sounds like a very yeti thing to have actually um and then these need to be reversed then since yeah okay there we go Wow, we turn, we turn really nicely now. All right, let's get some coffee. Oh my god. <laughs> and yeah, a little bit of just wobbliness. It's like, uh, it's like suspension on car tires. You get a little bit of a rougher, rougher climate when it comes to turning, and uh, these will, these will set you straight no matter the circumstance. We don't really have this cup very well. Um, <laughs> I hope this arm is strong enough. And then, uh, yeah. Get a little bit of a better. There we go. That looks good. Sure it's nice and full. Turn away a little bit. Drop it down. Gently. New record. We have a cup filled and we've moved. I just we get a little bit of we get a little bit of rocking momentum though. Oh, uh, you really I don't think I can get the cream though. Like it's that's so high up. Hold on. We can see about it. Want me to risk it for the biscuit. It's a bonus objective that, you know. Alright. Let's put the coffee down for a minute. I can't I can't get that. They say forklift drive drivers have good control. They haven't seen me yet. Okay, it hasn't broken the cup. We're still fine. We'll get another one. on it. It hasn't broken yet. Just let it go. And, uh... Uh-oh. Help. Help. Ah. Okay. Once more. We have two more attempts. Put that arm down. Just sounds like somebody's getting beat up over there. Wrong button. Compact ourselves into a nice tight ball. I'm just holding W this whole time. This is great. We're going like just the right speed here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the tricky part. Can we... Oh, 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 we're doing it. We're going up. The Wibbly Wheels have helped. Uh. Hold on, can I... Let me just raise this up a little here. Try not to press E yet. Just mind the tape. <laughs> Hold strong cup and don't tip backward, Robot. Property damage. Whatever. Good news is... It seems like... I'm okay just to move the cones. It's not broken. It only costs 3838 bucks. That ain't too bad. And it took about seven and a half minutes to, to actually deliver the cup. That's that's not too bad. I don't know how to get the the cream though. That no, that's that's the next trick. I think we'd need a longer arm. Oops. Like it needed to be quite long. I'm I'm almost tempted to see about getting a second claw. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Um. There we are. Easy. Yeah. There we go. 
You know, we're almost tall enough just to grab the coffee now, like, straight off the bat. Uh, but, 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 there's a huge problem with this, though. I think I gotta pour the cream, which means we need a little bit of rotation attached to this, which means... Um... Probably just a several motor, so we can only go so far. Clockwise limit, like... That looks like a... That looks like a pretty okay, right? And then, yeah, I guess like just 130 degrees. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could just have it just all the way at that point. But look, I'm gonna be fancy, and we're gonna we're gonna do that. And the max RPM, I don't think it matters. Um, that that doesn't matter. Torque, acceleration, time, just just throw it in there. I don't think dude needs so much. We can tease it a bit with some oscillation. We'll return the origin though. Okay. Second page, map to angle? Don't know what that means. Oh, for like the keyboard mapping. I don't think it matters. Okay. Now, this is getting complicated here. We're playing almost co-op. Uh, look at all these custom actions I got. Although some of these, I don't think I need. Cause like the bobblehead bit, it doesn't bobble. Um, nearly, nearly as much as it used to, because we've got so much support here. I think I can get rid of these officially, and we can let it just go full bobble. So that was... that's that business, which you're gonna have to be... ...so much bigger. I mean, this is going to have to be just, like, a big plate. <laughs> it's not a heavy block, keep in mind. We could also, while we're at it, get a couple, um... Get a couple lasers. For, like, brake lights. They don't start on. These are bound to S. Uh, hold. That seems right. Could all be solved by moving the grabber back a block? Yeah, but that's like way too simple. I'm I'm looking to over-engineer the business out of this. Because to me, that's the fun. I need a rod in here, too, I just realized. Or a CV joint? I don't think we need a CV joint. I think that might be unnecessary, dare I say it. And then, uh... Can you just, like, connect up onto the rod directly? Is that... Maybe. Seems like it could be fine. I feel like the rod itself is maybe a little bit in the way. We'll find out. So how do we... <sighs> Main action, secondary action, that's all fun. The laser is actually pointless now. I like it. What was Q? Q is nothing. So Q can be spin that way, or it will toggle that way, really, because it resets to position. I 
I feel like it's not set up right. I'm... I'm thinking this is... not able to be connected directly to it. And that I may need to have... Eh... Uh, well... Just like... A block? Yo, we got pouring action now. Okay. Uh, we are back heavy, though. So you are actually far too long and also possibly far too big. The reverse lights work. Pouring action works. Wibbly wheels doing their thing to keep us steady. This is this is working. Yeah, you watch, I'll take your nose. Yeah, I'll do it. So, can we even get up high enough? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I can damn near just hand the dude the coffee from down here. <laughs> that is very telescopic. <laughs> yeah, forward a bit. Oh good, I actually chose the correct direction, too. You can see where the opening is. Looks a little bit... a little bit tightly gripped, that. Pew, 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 pew. The hell's that noise in the kitchen? Yeah, we're out as much as we can be. Uh, bring it back in. Drop it down a touch. Nope. Nope. Up and over. We got some creamin'. It's not a lot, but it's enough, I think. I hope. Sir? Step back. I'm coming through. <sighs> uh, bring this back in. Man, this, this spoiler is like really great actually.
Sir. You got it. How'd that happen? I think our wibbly wheels are failing me a little bit. Okay, okay, bring it back, bring it back in quick. <sighs> okay, we can't, we can't quite do that. With a few modifications, though, we possibly could. <laughs> Just imagine having your coffee in this massive arm, wibbly wobbly arm with your hot coffee. <laughs> comes teetering towards you. Man, I I kinda wish this wasn't uh so so tall now. Yeah. yeah, it's kinda it's it's scuttle button. Or kinda <laughs> Wibbly wheels come on <sighs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We need... We need, like... We need tighter suspension, is is what we need. It's it's too soft. We're, we're bottoming out. And that's, that's no good. So, let's... Do they come bigger? It's, it's maybe maybe too big. It's not getting any better. Um Maybe Just get bigger wheels. That's how you counter soft suspension. Well, it's more erratic. I'm not sure we can actually get up the ramp like this. <laughs> it's a hot rod ro robot. <laughs> yeah. People would, would pay a bunch of extra for a robot that drives like this. <laughs> okay. All right. This is somehow it's worse. I don't know. Bullshit. Um, let's extend out the rods a touch. Maybe that somehow does anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. So what we need then is we need them to not buckle so much. So we'll get another block in there, right? Okay, there. They won't, they can't buckle as much anymore. It, need, it needs to be maybe a little, a little wider, is that? Yeah, there we go. It's got a little bit of a, uh, what, canter? No, it, it corners better. I promise. I feel like this didn't really help much. At least we got a low center of mass. So that's good for, um, you know. Sir, please look out. Yeah, I can't. I can't turn it all. So let's try. Let's try moving this to this side. Um. Yeah, okay. Because the springs don't really, like, attach that way, I think. Um. Like, I, I, I could just, like, full width, maybe. No. Hmm. Why do they do that? I mean, that, that does it. That stiffens the hell out of them. They may as well not even be springs now. Man, we drive so much better in reverse now with these bigger wheels. I, 
don't think that's going to work out. How wide was that? 10? It's a big rod. It's a very big rod. Right. Um, Jesus. What's... What's happening? Is it okay? Maybe, maybe too wide. So, we do have a little bit of a situation where these tires are, like, wicked wide. Or kind of, like, wicked big, uh, in fact. I, I think that might be part of the problem, because they lift us up off the ground so much. I'd be wanting wheels like this. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But if they were just, they were so big that they were, they were pushing us tilted forward a bit. And uh, for whatever reason, that was causing it just to have a, a ma major, major headache. But this is working like really well. Oops. Buttons are not so can oh god that's way too high so convenient with this robot it it needs quite the manual to drive this thing very skilled operation it's job security is what it is you can try to get rid of me but who's gonna serve the coffee nobody else can drive these things not even me Okay, we got some coffee in. We got coffee in three different cups. I'm not sure why the claw is looking so... ...sideways. Oh yeah, we do have some wheels going the wrong way, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, this guy's backwards. Oh well. It seems to be working okay somehow. It's like counter steer for traction. Somehow. Over the cone. Who seated this guy over here anyway? that again. I'm 
maybe we don't have to. Bark. Woof. Huh. Just push through. It's fine. Oh my god, I think we've done it. With cream. And without breaking anything. And it still didn't cost $5,000. It almost did, though. Ah, oh, he loves it. Why are you sitting over here? Kill him! <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> okay. Well, we did it, though. <laughs> um. <laughs> I love how they're just spamming the button. <laughs> it's all gone wrong! <laughs> Um, wow. Well, this is, this is a fun thing. So what are, what's like this guy all about? What's this walker robot? This looks terrifying. Like, this looks really terrifying. How do I drive this? W-N-S. That's it. That's all I need. W-N-S. All right. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. I get it. I get it. Okay. Now what's this other guy? The tricycle bot. Well, this one at least turns. Holy shit, this thing, this thing go, look out. Wow, this is like a real, like a real robot. It's amazing what technology can accomplish, huh? Can even do the ramp, look at that. Straight up, no problem. It's almost short enough. Almost. If we're, if we're slow. Ah. That's, it's pretty all right. But if I just move your table? What about... <gasps> what about if I just grab your table and bring it down? How about that? Turn to challenge select. Right, it didn't, uh... Didn't actually save that one. There's also Sandbox, which is just... Oh, this is the tutorial, is it? Oh, this would have been swell to have had moments ago. But this just, uh... Well, it's just like have a little play around with your robot and see what it can and can't do. Nice. Ooh, look out. Ah. We need we need extendo claws on this. And just a basic block.
and then uh, make this a bit a bit larger. And then a DC motor, right? With a rod. We got like saw blades and stuff though. I just need properties for these. You, max RPM, great. Acceleration time. Um we'll we'll let you we'll let you rev up a little bit. That's probably fine. Braking time, quite quite slow. They're a little difficult to get them off. Don't start on though. And then these guys these guys don't have any settings at all. Those just those just are what they are. All right, um, controls then. Yeah, E will be E will be to kick this off. Let's say just spin forward, and then Q can be spin reversed. All right, yeah, those. Let's do that. Oh yeah, that's that's Raven. It's Raven, but it's not very quick. I'm afraid to say. I want you guys to not be started straight away. Let's say R. Move out. Yeah. Well, move out. So not you. That's up. That's down. T. Let's move in. And Z. Move out. Okay. So that works. And then I want... I don't think I can have... Can I have multiple motors attached to one rod? Whoa, 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 return to game. What am I doing? Only attaches to rods. Oh, yeah, gears and... Hmm. Hmm, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We could use that. Am I clever enough to use that though? Crown gear could be exciting. Shrink that up a lot. Actually, just get rid of that. Um, I don't know if a Kronger is what I want, actually. But I want to go from the big gear into a little gear. That I know. Is that the littlest gear you got? I guess so. As far as crown gears go, 16 is the best they've got. But that ain't... That ain't enough. So just a normal gear. 
into uh Yeah. I guess I'd have just another one of these or something. Yeah, maybe maybe another one. And then I think just a like just a block. I guess it'd also be a would that also be a a rotor there? Can you just connect in? Nah, not onto that. Into that you can. But uh, I don't know if you're allowed to spin like that, especially not if you don't even connect up. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm doing this like at all right. Like, I kind of feel like they're just, they're too different in size or something. Killing people? No, I need to make something to grate cheese. I'm not killing people. They're just, they're, they're too different. That looks, that looks maybe believable. And then can we get another rod? We're gonna have to just let this rev up and see how this... Okay, yeah, no, that's not happy with that. But yeah, surely that won't spin, right? So there's one. Two. And three. If we can get all those spinning, that'd be super duper cool. Well, that one's fine. Um, what was the what was the button for that? <laughs> Z. Main action. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's... that's that. It ain't got one. It's not going... because... I'm not fully sure why. The Wright brothers? I don't think they'd... Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're not now we're not going. So something with that. This is just blocking it. Are you guys like I th I think this is largely the problem. I don't think we can just use a simple block. I think we're wanting I don't think we need a motor, though. But we do a joint. That's the word. Rotate connected parts. That's large. Does it have to be so big? Bearing. Rotate connected part. This is probably what we want. Um. But, like, on a, on a block, though. So... You come in, and then a block, and then you're attached to the to the block. Ah, so we have so the block is spinning with you then. And then... I don't even know if this one's connecting because it's like... Physically nowhere near? So I'm not even sure... Oops. If that one's gonna work. But this is... This whole thing is gonna... Well, it... It's still glued. It's still glued, though. Like, we're still... Right. I definitely need a rod. But rods can't connect to that. All right, no, it, it works though. They just, they get stuck on one another, of course. Okay. That's a working. So then. that just drag these out since I don't need them to be extend the arms really so that's connected so that's driving this can all spin and then I need like another one I don't know, you know, maybe this alone would work, actually. This is looking like the small guy might fit here. Um. How have, how have I done that? All right, rod can't go in. I need just a basic block. And then the rod can go into that. Is it this thing's fault? So 
that that's not it. I I feel like this just simply doesn't like it's too too much of a difference or something. So uh We'll skew it. And see if you're happy with that then. Torque? Could you make a plant? I don't think the game cares much about like lifting off. There is torque though that you can adjust, yeah. But I don't think you'd be able to actually elevate yourself like that. So that can go, that can go. I feel like that won't spin. <laughs> yeah, no. Because it's not, it's not on anything. So how would I get you on? Because you're like, eh, that's too close and stuff. But I also can't put it off to the side, because it's like, eh, it's still too close and stuff. Ah! Okay. Off on the side, that works for this. Gotcha. Okay. We got it. That only took a little while. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not a mechanics engineer, okay? I know the very base concept, but nothing at all of the execution, which makes me very dangerous. <laughs> Speaking of danger, though, whew, these are gonna these are gonna spin. Um, right, I, um, just, block that in. Eh, that won't work, right? Yeah, no, that, that locked it. Woo, that's going. That's a spinning. That's a nice murder stick. Is there any way to get more out of it? I th yeah, I thought there was torque. Ah, advanced. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's acceleration time a little bit, a little bit slow. It takes a minute to get up to speed. I'm all right with that. <sighs> All right. Fine. We're a little unstable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stability, I'm a professional at. We've got this under control. We're very good at stability. Just needs a little more. All right. Okay. 
Give me that rod. Ew, it's all like one piece? Ugh, that's disgusting. No wonder. Get these out of here. Jeez. Glass! Oh, cool. Put a spoiler on it. Okay. I want basics. Just simple light blocks. Well, actually, this can just be straight into the uh, the motor. Hmm. Flip that one, though. These two spin forward, spin backwards. There we go. I'm hooked on your coffee. It just, it just kind of wedges in there. Ah. Ah. Where's my violence in the cute robot sandbox game? Uh. Fine. So, do we away with these then? that all that for nothing mm, you don't need to be a thing either actually Ugh, we don't really need a heavy block either actually mechanical no powered Telescopic. I don't know how far out this actually goes. out, I guess. Ooh! That's sawing. That's... That's sawing a lot. Okay. Why'd the wheels pop off, though? <laughs> Why? Why'd that happen? Oh. Wait, the motors are gone. Why? Why? <laughs> But you need to be reversed. And 
I probably gotta redo the controls. Yep. Thankfully. That bit's easy. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I want... I want this to be taller. And I want another... Telescopic piston. The same size can be fine. And then a powered claw. Yeah. This can be fairly quick, very forceful. Don't oscillate. Don't return to origin. Max force. And this is... Um... That, that's, that's to kick that in. Q is currently nothing. So let's change this to... F. Well, yeah, fine, whatever. And then I can make a custom for you being E. Oops. Uh, move out. Move in. And this will be G for grab? <laughs> Shing, shink. <laughs> and, uh, oh god. Alright. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work fully. Sir? You there, since you're stationary. Um, just stay there a second, okay? And then I want E. Grab him. Pull him in. Oh. Uh. No coffee today. <laughs> Grab him. Pull him in. Get him! <laughs> okay, that's maybe a little too much. Um... Right. Okay. No, that that's fun. <laughs> that's that's a fun thing though. <laughs> Man, I really like the dude that he just grabbed and just like rolls him up into the air. <laughs> uh that was that was good. What's the deal with this thing? Is this anything? A slapping machine? Maybe tomorrow. I might play more of this tomorrow. Uh. Uh, yeah. These need just like so much more force. 
We need more power. They're already, they're already max power. 300. <sighs> what about, uh... What about whatever is driving you guys? What is driving you? How do you go? All right, that's all. This is all driven by this one servo, huh? Well, that's steering, though. I guess this goes just through sheer will based on these. It's rear wheel drive. So what if I were to put... You know you're off-centered? It's very frustrating that you're off-centered. What if I were to put another motor in there? Yeah, can't really. Just a bigger, a bigger tire. Now it, it sort of bumps a little bit and hops around. So slightly, slightly bigger. Right. Okay, you're fine. Now it's now it's a low rider. Yeah, two wheels sandwiched together. Well, I don't think that actually helped because it's not actually being driven. This is all just in the back here. So what we need is um just just more. forward is yeah that it copied over the the binding too so we get a little more power in the back through more motors this isn't my design sparkle lord it was one of the default ones yeah no that that's too heavy in the back now we don't got enough pushing Okay. The other design that it comes with is the Walker Bot, which is pretty fun. It can't turn or anything, but it's a it's a neat design. Kind of fun. turns when it feels like it. <laughs> mm. Zero torque? Ugh. It's not enough to lift it anymore. <laughs> okay. Fair. How about so much torque but low RPM? So it's got just so much power. It's like a heavy loader, this thing. It could hold so much weight, but it's so slow. 
You do like a forklift this way. Which that'd be that'd be fun. Load a pallet and then move the pallet somewhere. Ugh. Loading a truck in this game. Ah. Ah, just turn it into a forklift sim. You're so close. Just commit. Man, this is this is fun though. I might try out the um because this is this was the, the coffee shop challenge. And there's two other challenges. I gotta opt into the beta. They've got it set up a little bit oddly. But um I could opt into the other beta and try it was what were the other two again? Sandwich server and wood and chips. Don't know. I'm imagining wood and chips is gonna be using the uh the saw and all that. But for now, I leave you. For it is a shorter stream day. I got I got stuff I gotta do today. I didn't have much time, so I figured a quick look would be all right. And this turned out to be fun enough that I might play it some more tomorrow. It's good. I, I, I typically games like this, I don't really enjoy t too much, but I'm very happy that there's actually objectives and sort of challenges to do alongside. I think that that makes it just infinitely, infinitely better for me because there's also like you know, there's there's games like this where you're using you're basically putting together voxels and building like warships and stuff and submarines and all that. And I'm not I'm not so big on that because it's just kind of like you're building this thing and spending hours and then you build a thing for it to fight. And it's just kind of like that. That's it. And for me personally, I see the appeal. I just it's not for me, but having actual objectives to do makes it so much nicer. This, this is a good time having fun with it.